Freydis Eric's daughter, a name that required several takes in order to pronounce correctly, was the daughter of Eric the Red, a Norwegian Viking who was famous for establishing the first Norse settlement in Greenland. Eric the Red would have another child known as Leif Eriksson from his wife Fjohild. Though it is unknown if Freydis is a legitimate daughter of Eric and Fjohild, or the child born from one of Eric's affairs. Much like many of the Vikings from the past, most of Freydis' story comes from legend. In fact, despite her popularity, she is only mentioned in two Icelandic sagas, and both of those differ quite drastically. The first legend describes Freydis as being a tough woman, one who was braver than her fellow men, a fierce explorer with a hunter's mentality. She was noted as being pregnant with child during a journey to Vindland, now Newfoundland, North America, along with her brother Leif and their followers. However, despite her condition, it did not stop her from being involved in regular activities. It's said that Leif and his men would make peace with the natives at Rindland, though this would not last long. A bull which was said to have belonged to Leif's crew would escape and scream into the woodlands, startling the natives. In response, the natives launched an attack, charging at the Viking foreigners with such weapons as catapults that the Vikings hadn't seen before. The Vikings would flee, but it was Freydis who was said to demand the men stay put and fight. But her attempts to instill courage into her men was futile, and they would leg it in the opposite direction. Being pregnant, Freydis wasn't about to run anywhere, so she grabbed a sword from the corpse of an ally and stood her ground. When the natives saw her standing there, she was said to expose her breasts and scream in a language that the natives couldn't comprehend. She held the sword against her breasts for reasons unknown, but the gesture intimidated the natives so much so that it was them bolting in the other direction. Freydis would hearken after them, swinging the sword as she watched the natives cower from her. The second legend doesn't shine so brightly on our fearless heroine, however. In the Greenlander's saga, it tells that Freydis would visit Rindland a second time in her life, but this time without the company of her brother Leif. Instead, two of her other brothers, Helgi and Finbogi, joined her exploration of Rindland, where plunder was on their minds. They would make their way by boat, but before their departure, Freydis was granted permission by Leif to live in his home in Rindland. However, Helgi and Finbogi arrived at Leif's home first, and would unpack their belongings and move in. Freydis was peeved, but upon asking her brothers to move, they refused. This caused Freydis to develop resentment for her brothers, and it would fester as time went on. Some might say that this resentment seeped into their men, for Freydis' men began arguing with her brother's men up until the two groups decided to separate. One night when laying in bed with her husband, Freydis would attend her brother's home, or the home they had stolen at least, and would negotiate the trading of ships for which she said she wanted to use for sailing home. However, this was not her intention at all. In fact, she had a more devious plan in mind. Upon arriving back to her own camp, Freydis crawled back into bed with her husband. When asked about her whereabouts, she told him that she had gone to her brothers to arrange the trading of ships, but then she would lie and state that they had beaten her. She would then incite her husband, telling him that he was a coward and not man enough to defend her honour. Rising to the challenge, Freydis' husband woke his men, travelled to Helgi and Fingbogi's camp, and slaughtered them and their men. However, they would leave the women and children untouched. But this was not enough to sate Freydis' bloodlust. She told the men that they were cowards, and when they would not comply with her orders, she grabbed an axe and butchered the women herself. After the bloody murder, she made the men swear not to speak of the event ever again. But the men talked as soon as they returned home, and the news would soon reach her brother, Leif Eriksson. It was expected that she would be banished from the land, but Leif did not act against her. However, her family were no longer welcome in the community. It's said that she would live a life of seclusion after this, on the likely account that no one would see her as anything other than an evil, bloodthirsty villain. As always guys, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and let me know in the comments below what you thought about the tales of Freydis. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, be sure to tick that bell button next to the subscribe option so that you'll get notified each time I release a new video. In the next video, I'll be covering Freydis' father, Eric the Red, a man who literally could not stop himself from killing people. Until the next time, folks.